so good afternoon so welcome back to the second session it is the hands on training on fuzzy logic technique using matlab the version of matlab that we will be looking into now is r2018 alpha version that is r2018 a so in this in order to start the fuzzy logic tool you can type fuzzy in the command window here you can see the fuzzy in command window in which i am going to type fuzzy and then i am going to press enter then the fuzzy logic designer will be seen so this is one way of starting the fuzzy logic or i can also select the applications here you can see three tabs home plots apps the various applications in the drop down arrow click this drop down arrow you can see what are the various tools that is available in the matlab for different functions so in this we are going to use fuzzy logic we are going to use the fuzzy logic so here in the control system design and analysis in the control system design the first one is the favorites okay just leave that because we can select because we can select our favorites functions to that so in the first one is the machine learning and second one is math statistics and optimization and third comes the control system design and analysis this fuzzy logic is a control system design so in the control system design and analysis third you can see fuzzy logic designer third you can see the fuzzy logic designer that you can click so that this fuzzy logic designer window will get open so this is our front end this is our front gui the graphical user interface in this only we are going to perform this fuzzy logic technique so in the morning we have seen some of the fuzzy interference systems or strategies that we will be normally using among them i have told that mabdani and sugunos model will be largely used in matlab okay default it will consider mabdani if i want to go to suguno then i have to change my fuzzy interference system okay so that a perfect model can be developed okay first how to start first here we can see three tabs in this fuzzy logic designer file edit and then view in the file just click new fis fis stands for fuzzy interference system fuzzy interference system in this i can select mamdani or i can go with suguno for fuzzy logic on a fuzzy logic select mamdani itself because it uses both the min max condition and the min dot conditions on min max method and min dot method if i go with the suguno then it will be particularly useful for amphis a n f i s that is artificial neuro fuzzy interference system so this amphis is nothing but a hybrid approach of fuzzy logic with neural network okay that is i am going to combine both neural network and fuzzy logic how in neural network we are going to frame some rules based upon the prior knowledge that i have on a process so that the fuzziness in the data can be converted into a crisp output so that is my primary objective if i don't have any prior knowledge in the process i cannot write that rules as perfectly so in that cases i can go with amphis that is adopting the neural network tool to write the rules 
or to frame the rules. Since the neural network gets trained from the available data, okay, it is a hybrid approach. For rule, rule writing, I am going to use neural network. But apart from that, all the other things are one and the same. Okay, so what is required for ANTIS? In the morning example, we have seen only nine experimental runs from which we have taken the values and we have fed into the fuzzy interference system. But in the case of ANTIS, higher number of experiments is required because a model will be developed by the neural network. And based on that model only, the rules will be written. In order to train it perfectly, higher number of data is required. If I am not going to have any higher number of data, obviously I have to stick on to the normal or the basics as the logic approach. If I have larger data and if I don't have any knowledge or prior knowledge about the process, then I can go with ANTIS. So this is the main difference between fuzzy logic and ANTIS. And morning itself, one, one participant asked, so what is the difference? So this is the main difference. But now I am going to stick on with the fuzzy logic Mamtani model. So I am going with Mamtani model. So this is the same. So these two are one and the same. So here you can see untitled Mamtani and untitled one. So this is the second model that created. So there is no need once this is the default that is to be added. Now how to change this untitled to a desired name? Just if I save it, then the untitled will change to some other term. Now I am going to save this file. There is no options like save as, but I can import but I can import or export import is getting it from a workspace or getting a stored fuzzy interference system from a file okay then I am going to export export means I am going to save whether I am going to save it to the workspace or I am going to save it to a particular place now I am going to explore, export it to a file and I'm going to save it in the desktop. My name is, I'm going to give it as workshop. I'm going to give the name as workshop. Here you can see the file type. The file type is FIS, Fuzzy Interference System. So this FIS extension is a Fuzzy Interference System and it is a MATLAB file. And it can be opened only in MATLAB environment. Okay, for shop, I am going to store on the work desktop and save. Now here you can see the untitled is changed to workshop. And the method that I am going to use is Mantani. Okay, now you are clear with this. So first I am going to choose a new fuzzy interference system based on Mantani design and I saved it using a name workshop. Now in the morning example, I had three inputs, wear, roughness and material removal rate. Okay, and I am going to have an output that is gray relational gray. Now here on the left side, you can see a yellow one, yellow box. On the right side, I can see a cyan color box. So in the yellow color box, that is the inputs and the output is represented by the color cyan. Now, how to increase the number of input variables? So, here you can go with edit, the second tab, edit, add variable. Whether I have to add the variable to input or I have to add the variable to output. So, I am going to add input variable. So, add input. So, the number of inputs has changed to 2. Again, I have to add another variable to the input. So in this works, I have considered three inputs, input 1, input 2, input 3 
and the output okay now i have to provide the names for the input if i give it as input 1 input 2 and input 3 at some stage stage later on i'll get a little bit of confusion because which input number i have given to a particular variable so i am going to give the name just click one input input one i am going to click so on this name you can see below there's a gray table like form fis name for c interference system name workshop and the fis type is namdani on the left side here you can see the and method r method add method you have seen in the morning the and method the r method and the implications the and method uses minimum function r method uses the maximum function and the add function uses only the minimum function so this is the function so i will check it out and method just to click the drop down box you can see min production custom so just to leave it with min in the right side you can come across the current variable i have selected input one so the current variable the name is input one just i am going to select that name and i am going to write it as flank vr i am going to leave a space between flank and vr now click it so here you can see the input one is changed to flank vr but the first letter of the second one is become a subscript you can see here since i have given flank space vr after space is a taken a subscript value so how to change this click down okay now flank underscore vr i am going to consider as underscore vr or double space give it as double space we'll have flank vr now click the second one and the current variable name input to select and give it as surface double space roughness so it becomes surface roughness and the input tree just to select the variable the current variable is input three change it to mrr so i have given the names for the input variables that we have given similarly for the output just click the output so current variable the name is output one that i am going to change it as gray relational grade so double space i have to give so it is turned to gray relational gray ah my output may be any other terms for example if i going for a vibration problems then the amplitude of vibrations so amplitude that is my output the inputs may be different frequencies different methods or something or different conditions for example in a vibration problem we will consider the type of beam whether it is a simply supported beam or it is a cantilever beam or overhanging beam so similarly like the for example i am telling so we have to give the input variable and then we have to provide the output variable names now once again i am going to click the first variable that is flank pair here in the current variable the name is flank pair what is the type you can see it as the input and subsequently you can change the name the range you can check the range it is in between 0 to 1 that is you have to enter only the normalized values of any inputs so just like that we cannot give the input so we have to first of all scale it up the scaling is done by means of normalizing that is converting all the values in between zeros to one and that value should be entered in that similarly surface roughness variable i am going to click so current variable name surface roughness type input and the range is 0 to 1 so we have to check all these things but normally it will take it as default 
but kindly check mrr input type input and range is 0 to 1 similarly check the output the name here you can see the input is changed to output because i selected the output variable the range is 0 to 1 now what the next step the we have done the falsification now we have to perform the controller or the inference okay edit okay edit here you can see membership functions and all the things but before going to this select flag here just double click it just to double click it okay one second i will do just double click the flank here so this will open a new graphical user interface membership function editor membership function editor in this we are going to give how many membership functions that we are going to define what is the range of values of membership function whether it is a triangular membership function trapezoidal membership function Gaussian membership function, sigmoidal or bell shape. What type of membership function that we are going to consider? That can be changed in this membership function editor. Once again, I will tell. Just to double click the flank here. Okay, here we will go. I am maximizing this now. So the variable input variable selected is flank here. So current variable at the bottom gray you can see current variable name is flank here type input the range and display range right similarly at the top you can see the membership function plot you can see the membership function plot here at the red side red indicates m of one that is membership function one m of two stands for the membership function two and membership function 3 m of 3 now click the membership function 1 that will be highlighted in red simultaneously see below the current membership function click on membership function to select the name m of 1 just to select that i am going to change it to low i am going to select it to low type the second one is the type we have a drop down menu here you can see tri mf triangular membership function trap mf trapezoidal membership function g bell gaussian bell membership function gauss mf gaussian membership function gauss 2 the second category of gaussian membership function sig mf the sigmoidal membership function similarly like this Okay, first I will start with the triangular membership function that is tri MF. Okay, tri MF. So P A R A M S paradigms. Okay, that is the range. I can select. Now I am going to give the range for low. All the values should be in between 0 to 1, but since this fuzzy uses sharp boundaries, I am going to extend in the lower side and also in the upper side for both the inputs and the output so that a precise fuzzy grade or a crisp output will be produced. The first thing that I am going to do is, even though it starts between 0 to 1, I am going to consider this as minus 0.5. That is 0.5 in the negative side. Then I have to leave a space 0 and 0.5. What is this 0.5? 0 0.5 represents. Right? That I will tell you on the membership function too because now it is not with as much clarity. That is a triangle consists of three edges. Okay. Edge 1 is minus 0 0.5 and the edge 2 is 0. The edge 2 is 0 and the edge 3 is 0.5. So a triangle will be formed. Now just click this plot. Now here you can see 
the membership function is changed to low now select the membership function to that is highlight it okay if I, I am going to select the membership function to then it gets highlighted okay now the current membership function name mf2 that is changed to medium that is changed to medium mf triangular membership function now what values that i am going to give now i am going to give you a value 0 0.51 okay select the medium so as you can see the triangle starts at 0 the triangular starts at 0 and it reaches to a maximum at around 0.5 the next edge is falls on 0.5 and the next edge falls at 0 the next edge falls at 0 okay the next edge falls at 0 so 0 0.51 then comes the third membership function. The name of the third membership function I am going to give is I. So now I am going to give. How to give? What is the middle value of medium? The medium value middle is 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Then I am going to give it as 1 and 1.5. So that the middle value of I will be the end point of medium. So here you can see. So now these three things I have formulated. That is low, medium, and high. Instead of taking these three, I can also change it to five. That we'll see in the next example. Now select surface roughness. Now it will give the membership function one. I am going to change the name of membership function as low then the type is triangular membership function tri mf then i am going to change the paradigms to minus 0 0.5 0 and plus 0 0.5 you can also change these values according to your wish okay but this is the standard one standard one then select the membership function 2 then I am going to change it to medium. Once I change, the changes will be highlighted in the selected one. So that is 0, 0.5 and 1. In between these values, I have to leave a space. 0 space 0.5 space 1. Now it has changed. The medium has changed. Now high. The membership function 3, the name is high. I am going to consider the paradigms of 0.5, 1, space 1.5. Or you can also take the system values itself. Now I am going to click it so that it will get changed out. Now going with the third input variable, MRR. The first membership function M1, I am going to change it to low. Then type, I am going to select the triangular membership function. Then one second, I am going to give the values of minus 0.5, space 0, space 0.5. Then select the membership function plot, it will automatically change. Select the second membership function and rename that as medium. And the type is triangular membership functions. The values are 0, 0.5 and 1. Then select the third membership function. Rename is as high. Then triangular membership function. Then values are 0.5, 1, space 1, space 1.5. Now I have framed three membership functions for each variable low, medium, and high, and I have given a range. So this will have some union and then it will have some intersection. Okay. 
Now select the gray relational gray. Gray relational gray. That is the output. Here I have three outputs. But in order to have a precise one, I can improve the number of output membership functions though so that I am going to have a precise outputs. So instead of three, I am going with five. So what to do? Okay. So now instead of three outputs, I need a five membership. Sorry, instead of three membership function, m of one, here you can see the cyan color plot. M of one is the membership function one that is highlighted in red, membership function two and membership function three. Apart from this, I need another two because instead of low, medium and high, I am going to consider very low, low, medium, high, very high. So five categories I am going to select so that my predicted output will be perfect. There are two methods in that. Just to go to edit. Okay. Here in the second case, you can see add membership functions. So membership function type what? Trapezoidal, tra triangular, G-bell, Gaussian, Sigma. I am going with the triangle. How many number, number of membership functions you have to add? Whether you are going to add one membership function, two or three. In this case, I am going to add two membership functions. Click OK. Now, one second, it will go to the input. Now, click the output. That's all. So here you can see another two membership functions will be added. Okay, so total, totally there are five membership function. If you are getting confused in this, just click all this membership function and press delete button. Press the membership function, delete. Press the membership function, delete. Membership function, delete. Press it. Highlight the membership function and delete. So presently in the gray relational grade, there is zero membership function. Now I am going to edit. I am going to add a membership function. So the membership function is triangular membership function. How many you are going to add? Just add five. Okay, this is flank here. Now what is displayed is the input. Now click the output. So now here you can see, so no more confusions. You can add it by two ways. Along with the present three membership functions, you can add two so that the number of member, membership functions will be five. Or delete all the five, all the three membership functions and include a new five membership functions so that you will not get distracted out or you will not get confused out. Now select the membership function one, which is highlighted in red. In the current membership function name, select and change it to very low, double space low. What happens when I am not going to give any space? One second, I will check it. Very low. So here you can see it has become a subscript. So now give double space and also check at the values check at the values it lies between minus 0 0.25 0 0.25 this is a good one this is a good one so i am going to adopt the same value as the system has generated so now i am going for the second membership function and i am going to give it as the name low now she can see 0 0.25.5. Okay, this is good because even this is a equilateral triangle. Okay, low. Okay, this I am going to adapt. Now click the third membership function and change it to medium. And coming on to the type, it is triangular membership function. Then Paradigms, it's 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75. Then membership function 4. I'm going to change it to high. The type of membership function is triangular. Then the values are 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 1. In the fifth membership function, 
I'm going to change the name to very high, very double space high. Once again, the triangular membership function and the values are 0 0.751, 1 1.25. The range of input and outputs lies in between zeros to one. In the input, I have considered a minus 0 0.5 to 1.5. So that is the range because beyond zeros and beyond ones, I am going to consider. In the output, I am going to consider the range between minus 0.25 to 1.25. So on either side, I am going to add 0.25 so that the predicted output will be perfect. Then click. Now you can see you have formulated very low, low, medium, high, very high. The next thing, now we have defined the input variable, what is my output, what is the membership function that we have selected for that, okay, what is the range that we have selected for each membership functions and all these things now we have formulated. Now I am going with the rules, okay, mapping rules, how we are going to map or relate the input with the output that is done by framing some rules for framing these rules we should have some prior knowledge about the process if i am not going to have any prior knowledge then i cannot select this z or if any relationship does not exist between the input and output don't go with a z a C should be adapted only a relationship or mapping exists between the input and output the first thing second if i don't have any prior knowledge or i am not well versed with the process then don't go with a z so the next step is formulating the rules so once again i am going with the edit tab in the final we have rules okay we can have rules so the rule editor will come the rule editor will come here you can see the first one is the rule for is the the number of membership functions that we are selected for flank pair and then second for surface toughness and then for mrr and the last is the output the last is the output uh, how many membership function that we have selected. Rules are the if then rules or if and then rules. If and then rules. If rules are possible, only I have only one variable. If I have more than one variable, then the rules will be if and then rules. Here at the top of the flank pair, we can see if and at the top of surface toughness, we can see and and at the top of the MRR, we can see AND. Similarly, at the top of gray relation grade, we can see THEN. That is, IF AND THEN rule that we are going to formulate. Now, below, left side below, in the rule editor, we can see CONNECTION. And then WAIT. In the connection, we can see OR or AND. So, if I changing it to OR, then obviously, in the surface roughness and the MRR, the and will be replaced with R. So I am sticking on to the default condition of and. Default condition of and. The first rule that I am going to frame is if the flank pair is low, first I will select with none. Okay, first I will select with none. Okay, there is no rules at all now. Now I am going to select if the flank pair is low, that is highlighted in blue. And surface toughness is low, and if MRR is low, then the gray relation grade will be very low. Okay, now I am going to frame if flank pair is low and surface toughness is low and MRR is low, then gray relation grade is very low. At the bottom, you can see three buttons delete rule, add rule, change rule. The add rule I am going to give, so the first rule is framed. If flank pair is low, surface roughness is low, and MRR is low, then gray relation grade is very low. That is rule number one. 
If I want, okay, the second rule. The flank wear is low, surface toughness is low, and the MRR is medium, and the gray relational grade is, once again, I am going to stick on with very low. That is, add rule. So the second rule is also formulated. The third rule, the flank wear is low, surface roughness is low, and the MRR is high, then the gray relational grade becomes low. Then it is add rule. Now, how many rules that we are going to formulate? We are going to formulate the three, three membership function in flank wear, three membership function in surface roughness, and three membership function in MRR. So, three into three into three. So, three into three, nine, nine into three, 27 rules we are going to frame. But as of now, I have framed only three rules. What happens when I want to delete a rule? Mistakenly, I have developed a rule that I want to delete. Just to highlight the rule that you want to delete. Just to highlight the rule that I want to delete. You can see the three buttons at the bottom. Delete rule, add rule and change rule. Just to click the delete rule. That particular rule will be deleted. Okay, that particular rule will be deleted. Okay, low, low, high, then low, add rule. If I want to change a rule, just highlight a rule and click change rule. And click change rule. Here you can see the third one is highlighted. Now the gray relation grade is low. Now I can change it to medium. Okay, just highlight it. Change the output to medium and then change rule. Now here you can see. The gray relation grain is changed from low to medium. So we can also add, we can also delete, and we can also change it. Now again, I am going to change it to low, change it. Okay. Then for this second set, low, now I am going to change the surface roughness to medium and MRRs to low so that my output will be low. So this Trial and error I am going to give. I am not, at present I am not going, giving it in a precise manner. Okay, this is for an example how to frame. So low, medium, and medium, it is medium. Then low, medium, high, it is also medium. Then low, now I am going to change the surface roughness to high. Then MRR to low, then it will be medium. Then low, high, medium, it will be high. Add rule. Then low, high, high, it is also high. So now 9. First set is over. That is for flank pair, the first set is over. Similarly for medium. Now I am going to change the flank pair to medium. Then surface toughness, low. Then MRR low, then I am going to end up with low. Then medium, low, medium, it's medium. Then medium, low, high, it is medium. Then medium, now I am going to change the surface roughness to medium. Then MRR low, it is low, for example. Then medium, medium, medium. Medium, it's medium or high. Then medium, medium, high, it is also high. And medium, now again I, I am going to change the surface roughness to high. Now low, so it becomes medium. Then medium, high, medium, it becomes high. So these rules I am going to give it in a trial and error manner. So, how these conditions are there? That depends upon your problem. Now, presently, I am going to give it in a trial and error. This is not perfect. Okay. Then, medium, high, high, it is very high. Now, I am going to change the flank pair high, surface roughness low, MRR low, it is medium. Then, high, low, 
medium it is medium then high low high it will be high then flank pier high surface roughness i am going to medium then mr or low i am going with medium that is when the flank pier lies in the range that we are given for the high that is for example points 8 or if the surface roughness lies in the second category that is medium and what is the condition the and when mrr lies in the medium range then what will be range of this gray relation gray so we have to be very very cautious in giving this rules high means we know the range that we have given similarly for surface roughness and mrr if i have a prior knowledge for these values what will be the gray gray that we have we know it in our mind that i am going to provide so high medium and medium i am going to give it as high so high medium high it's high now high high low it is medium high high medium it is high then high 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 it is very high so here you can see from the rules i have formulated 27 rules so 3 into 3 into 3 so now after formulating these rules you can kindly check for the rules if i want to delete any rules or if i want to modify any rules then you can modify or delete or re and add now click view so so far what you have done is these things now click view in this rule editor you can click view surface so this is the surface that is formulated here this is the surface formulated based on the rules that we have provided so here in the gray color we can see the x input flank pier y input surface roughness and z gray relation gray that is this is a surface plot that is drawn between two inputs and then output okay now i can also change my input range dot in one axis i am going to have flank pier on the other axis i am going to have the surface roughness and in the y z axis i am going to have the gray relation gray now x entity i am going to keep it as flank pier and y entity i am going to give it as mr then you can see obviously the surface tends to change similarly in the x input i am going to change from flank pier to surface roughness so here you can see the roughness changes if i modify a rule now if you modify a rule now so this is also a mapping between the input and the output so based on this if i want to delete or if i want to modify some rules go back to view or edit rules so in this i can modify or change okay this i can edit or change or this i can delete or something okay now i am going with view the rules so edit rule is different and viewing the rules is different so this is a rule editor a rule viewer here you can see so the first one is the flank pier the second one is the surface roughness and third one is the mr and the last one blue represents the output gray so here you can see a red line in each of the inputs so that is the exit centroid so flank pier 0.5 now if i fold that line and if i change the flank pier value tends to change here you can see now the flank pier value tends to change but default similarly if i change this at the bottom also input you can see now that i am highlighting the input that i am highlighting also tends to change here so default it will be 0.5 okay now in the morning we have seen an example okay this is my example here
here I am going to have three values flank pier, roughness and MR that I am going to provide it as an input. So 0.492 for flank pier and 0.7 for roughness and 0.635 for MR so that in experiment a relation grade of 0.609 is attained. Now coming once again coming back to this now I am going to enter the value in the input. Don't change by pushing the red line. Provide the inputs here. The first one is 0.492. Then semicolon. Then 0.7 semicolon. Then it has 0.635. Now click here. You can see the gray relation grade is changed to 0.754. So the gray relation grade is 0.754. The experimental gray relation grade is 0.609, but the gray relation grade that we have obtained is 0.754. So what it implies is a perfect model can be obtained with this fuzzy that we are going to reduce the fuzziness that is clarity in the data, very in clarity in the data, so that a crisp output can be determined. So similarly, for this nine experiments, for this nine experiments, these three inputs, that is gray relation grade of flank pier, roughness and MRR, we are going to give and we are going to have the grade or someone has, what is this gray relation grade? So forget about that. I am going to run an experiment. I am going to have three inputs in this case and an output. So I have done some experiment, okay, for which I have obtained an output. But I am getting a feeling that because of some external disturbances, because of some external disturbances in that experiment, my value contains some fuzziness. I am getting a feeling like that. So I know a well, very good, I have a very good knowledge about my process. So I am going to reduce that fuzziness for which I am going to adopt this technique. So the similar procedure is we are going to follow out and the raw data can also be given as the input after normalizing. After normalizing, there are many normalizing procedures that is converting your raw data in between zeros to ones. Okay. Similarly for all the outputs and for that corresponding we will be having some outputs. So denormalizing also we have many formulas. We can adopt any one. Of, but it's video of the same category. So normalizing and denormalizing. So that the outputs can be predicted easily. So this is how we are going to perform the fuzzy logic in a MATLAB environment. Right. Now I will cut this. So this is, you can save, so file, export or something, I can, now I can to this workspace, okay, now it has been saved in the workspace. So here you can see, I am clicking the workspace on the left to bottom, you can see a workspace, just double click, so here you can see. So defacifications method and all these things it will be easily mentioned that because all these things I have exported it to the workspace. So rules and all these things you can see here. So here you can see what is the value that we have provided here. The input, what is the range that we have provided to the inputs? So that is between these three. So the rules that what we have formulated, okay, weightages, connections, and all these things. So 111 is the low, low, low. Okay, very low. So here you can see 5. This is my output. So this is my input 
rule and this is my output condition how we are going to map it okay now in this example okay i am going to change the membership function now instead of okay instead of triangular membership function i am going with trapezoidal membership function in the triangular membership function for low category i have taken the range 0.5 0 0.5 or medium 0 0.51 and for high 0.51 and 0.5 that i have selected so the what is this highlighted is low now in the flank pair i am going to change the membership function now the current membership function the name is low and the type i am going to change from trapezoidal membership function to trapezoidal membership function so it takes four values it takes four values first i will give and in the middle or the medium i will tell you so that is i'm going to give minus 0.45 so minus 0.45 space minus 0.1 space 0.1 space 0.45 so take at it as it is in the middle medium i will explain in the medium again i am going to change the type of membership function to trapezoidal so here you can see the red eye clear it starts at some value it reaches some height and it reaches some the same point after some period of time and then it drops back so the starting is a then reaching b and staying in b until c and then reaching to D. So it has A, B, C, D. Okay, so four values I have to give. The lowest edge value that I am going to give is 0, then 0.35, then 0.55, and then 0 0.90. How we have derived this? The slope, the point between the initial point or the edge and the second edge will be around. 0.35 difference then you can click now so this point so 0 to 0 0.35 it has arrived and this variation should also be in this category so this 0.35 now this point selected point is exactly at 0 0.35 up to 55 it covers it covers until 0 0.2 so this is 0 0.35 this is 0.55 so the difference is 0.2 so from here one second 0.35 difference that is this difference so 0.55 plus 0 0.35 0 0.9 now exactly at the middle middle of the medium i am going to select the first point for high so high so in this 0 0.35 0 0.55 the middle value is 0.45 so the only values that i am going to give is what i have selected and what i had considered the same thing you should not consider you can consider or not you can also change instead of this value of 0.2 i can also change here instead of 0.55 i'm going to take this 0.44 so here you can see this tends to change so this 0.5 and here i'm going to consider as 0.6 this type also you can change select okay it's all depend upon your selected values so what are values that you are going to select it should be justified similarly for high the middle value is 0.45 so i'm going to start okay this high initially i'm going to change the membership function to trapezoidal so i'm going to start it with the middle value of the medium that is 0.45 then the difference of 0.35 that is 0.8 then 1 then 1.35 so 0.8 and 1 0.2 difference so the core is 0.2 so now as you can see here this point high starts from the middle value of the medium that is the core okay so this is how i have taken the membership function for the inputs the trapezoidal membership function similarly for surface roughness 
instead of so here you can see this is a triangle so i am going to change it to trapezoidal the value that i have selected is minus 0.5 then minus 0.1 and difference is 0.2 so i am going to consider 0.1 and minus and plus 0.5 for medium the type of membership function change it to trapezoidal then i am going to consider the values zero space 0.35 space 0.55 0.9 now the high change the type of membership function to trapezoidal then i am going to select the values for this as 0.45 0.80 1 and 1.35 similarly for mrr the low the type i am going to change it from trapezoidal to sorry triangular to trapezoid minus 0.45 minus 0.1 and 0.1 and 0.45 for medium i'm going to change the type of membership function to trapezoidal then zero point three five point five five point nine then high change it to trapezoidal so if you want you can also use the same system generator values there is nothing wrong in that so you can also study which membership function which values of membership function produces better result in your case by changing the variables of the membership function instead of this value now i am going to change it to my own value and i am going to study the Applications of it: 0 0.8, 1, 1.35. So now I have changed the membership functions of all the inputs to from trapezoid from triangular membership function to trapezoidal membership function. So once again, I will check. So this is trapezoidal, this is trapezoidal, and this is trapezoid. Now I am going to stick on. With the triangular membership function here here also you can change okay now edit the rules the same rules i am going to have now the same rules i am going to have it now view surface so there will be change in surface you can see there is a change in surface in between the previous case and this case so in the previous case so view rules so rule editor the first example is i am going to give 0.2 in the previous case colon so semicolon 0.7 semicolon 0.635 so now I am going to obtain a gray relation grade of 0.779. Then with the same rules, then I am going to use triangular membership function. My gray relation grade value is 0 0.754. That is my output value is 0 0.754. But my experimental value is 0 0.609. But when I change my membership function to trapezoidal, it is changing. So improvement in output so in this case the change in membership function also plays a vital role with for enhancing or for reducing the fussiness in your data for reducing the fussiness in your data okay so this is one okay so now we have seen how to change the membership functions and all these things now i am going to cut this down so now here you can see 3 into 3 into 3. What happens when I am going to change it to 5 membership functions? So select this, the flank pair. Now edit.
So here you can see, now I am going to delete all these things now. So correspondingly, the rules will also be deleted. Now I am going to edit add membership functions. So triangular membership functions, instead of three, I am going with five. Okay. Okay. Just I am going to change the name and not I am going to change these values. Okay. So very low, double space low. The membership function is low. The membership function three, I am going to change it to medium. Just for example, I am doing this. Then high. And the membership function is very high. Double space high. The values and all these things, I am going to accept the system values. Similarly, for surface toughness, I am going to delete these three functions. Now edit, add membership functions because in this there should there should be membership function. Without membership functions, it is an invalid invariable. So add membership functions. Edit, add membership functions. So instead of three, I am going with five and the two triangular membership functions. Okay. So here we have to be very, very careful. One second, if we change, it will go to the first variable. So select the second variable. So membership function one, change it to very low. The membership function two, change it to low. Membership function three, change it to medium. Membership function 4, change it to high. Membership function, change it to very high. Once and click, it will go back to the first one. Okay. Third one, delete. Yes. Change the rules. Yes. Change the rules or delete the rules. Yes. Now, edit. Add membership functions. For MRR, which is getting highlighted, so membership function type trapezoidal, uh, sorry, triangular, the number of membership functions change it to 5. Okay. Now it will go to the first variable. Now select the third variable, that is MRR. Change the name of membership function 1 to very double space low. Then membership function 2 to low and 3 to medium then 4 to high and 5 to very high so very double space high now the same i am going to retain in the gray relational grade also now i am going to write the rules so edit rules here you can see since we have deleted the membership functions, the previously constituted or arrived rules are gone. Now here, 5 into 5 into 5, 125 rules I have to frame. Okay. I just go with the 5 or 10, then in the remaining things we will know. Or if I want, I will go with 125. So I will be a little bit faster here because I have to formulate 125 rules. Now, I am going with a trial and error. It is not perfect. Okay. So, very low, very low, very low. It is very low. Very low, very low, low. I will be going with very low. Then medium, low. Then high, it will be medium. Then very high, it will be medium. Now, change the surface toughness now to low. And MR to very low. Then it is very low. Low, low, very low. Then low, medium is medium then low high medium then low very high high now change the surface roughness to medium very low low medium low low medium 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 high medium medium very high high then high very low very low, this low, low, medium, medium, high, medium, and very high, high. 
then change the surface temperature to very high then very low it will be medium and low medium and medium high then high also high and very high very high so far i have drawn 25 so remaining 100 we have to do now i am going to see the surfaces so this also it is possible now because out of 125 i have formulated only 25 okay since this is an example okay all i will go with all this 125 so very low now change it to low so very low very low So now change the flank weight to medium. So another set of 25 rules will be formulated now. So start with very low in surface softness and the memoir. Now changing the surface surplus to high. To changing the surface surplus to very high. Now similarly for high and very high we can do. Now look at the surface. Now the surface has changed. Okay. Now view rules. The rule editors will arrive for what you only for 75 you can have. Okay. So now the values is 0 0.492, 0 0.7, and this is 0.635, for which the value will be around 0.6 C. Here you can see the change in gray relational gray. Since we have stopped with 75, still there is 50 rules to be formulated. So, with the increasing number of membership functions, the complexity of the model tends to increase but a precise prediction is possible with that so here in this case we have seen how to develop a assume model okay how to provide the membership functions what are the various membership functions available how to change the values of a membership functions how to change the number of membership functions okay how to provide rules, how to visualize the surfaces so that we can have a prediction of two input parameters over the output grade and how we are going to obtain the first grade. So after this, 
the fuzzy grade has to be denormalized because the raw data is normalized and then only it is being fed at the last we are having a fuzzy grade and that should be denormalized so that it can be related with the experimental output directly and this is how you are going to perform a fuzzy logic in a MATLAB environment. I hope that the participants now have a clear view and understanding how to perform the fuzzy logic in a MATLAB environment. So with this, today's session is getting over and if you have any doubt, you can come to the chat session and you can chat with me and I will get and your doubts will get it clarified. And thank you for staying with us for this hands-on training on physiology. Thank you.